Hey, what's up guys? Jerry Show here. And recently I went out and I had to get a new keyboard uh, for my iMac because my cat spilled water or some kind of liquid all over the keyboard. Well, you can go ahead and try to repair it kind of like I did. I removed every single key. Uh, they're pretty easy. You just kind of grab them and they just pop off like that. However, uh, getting them back on, because sometimes the plastic pieces will come off like this is not the easiest. And once I cleaned it all up with alcohol, it, uh, it just, the whole row was still shot. So I had to go out and get a new keyboard. Now with the uh, IMAX, usually when it comes out the box, they are paired. They'll pair right up out of the box. However, um, when you go out and get another one, they're not paired. So let me walk you through the steps of uh, pairing this keyboard to your uh, older iMac. So pull, get first off uh, with the old keyboard. Use a um, a coin. I don't have a coin, and remove the batteries. If not, it's your computer is going to keep on picking this one up, whether it's on or off. So just uh, remove this part right here and just make sure there's no batteries. Take your batteries out of the old one. Now on your new one, you'll probably notice like your caps lock key won't work and things like this. This one has already been paired, so don't let me confuse you. I just wanted to share with you how to do it. Um, first off, you nor normally sign into your computer. Okay. So you sign into your computer and obviously you can't type in anything because you don't have a keyboard. So there's nothing you can do there. What you're going to want to do is sign into a guest user. Okay, guest user right there. And from there, hopefully you don't have a password. If you have a password for that one, you're gonna actually going to have to get an older USB and hardwire it. But um, luckily I didn't have a password set on that. From there... Let's see if you can see this. From there, you want to go on, click on the Apple, go to System Preferences, and click on your keyboard. Once you have clicked on the keyboard, go and set up Bluetooth keyboard. And it will say, wait for a Bluetooth keyboard to be found. This is when you actually need to have the batteries in your new keyboard, and you're going to want to hit this power button. This will go green for just a second, then it'll start blinking. Mine's not blinking, but yours will start blinking, showing it's in discovery mode. And then up here, it will say, uh, there's your keyboard, and then that's where you want to hit pair. Okay, and once you hit pair, it's going to ask, is your computer right, or is your keyboard ready to pair? And it's going to have something right here, and it's going to ask you to type um, something such as like A, D, F, G, and then enter on your keyboard. And once you have done that, it will be paired. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, thanks for watching.